do you ever have it, this kind of idea when you have it on a settings like Bob Borges restaurant, a character who you like it, and photo of yourself. And you just like, I wish I can take all of this and merge together. Well, some of us have the skills, some of us doesn't. But with the interesting new AI tool that I will show you in a second, you can do this. You can actually go and can very fast creating your image. There you go. Me by the Bob's Burger restaurant. Or what if you say, mm -hmm, you know what, I have it, similar things, but I want to do not by Bob's Burger restaurant, but I want to keep it this kind of style. I want settings and I want characters, but I want it up front of Millennium Falcon. And then you, ta da, now you have it yourself from photo in a Bob's Burger style up front of Millennium Falcon in Disneyland Galaxy Edge. And that is actually very easy to do. But before we jump there, it's kind of not new because, you know, you can always have a single character. Yes, apply style, apply this and creating. What if you have it multiple characters and you want to keep it consistency of creating your story? Well, let's go example here, me uh, with a wandering face sitting up front computer and I says, hmm, you know what? We we have a Bob's Burger character to whom I could relate it. I love this cartoon. And then you kind of says, you know what? What about if using Bob Burger's environment, I want to create cyberpunk. Well, this is like, for example, the photo things I did it. I'm like, I want to kind of apply this. I have it my own style. I want to put it my style, but I want with these characters and all the stuff. And there you go. We are playing Bob's Burgers with neon lights, cyberpunk, everything. Cool, but it's lonely. It is. It's feel very alone. What if I had additional character? You know, now I need to have two characters to do. Well, and they need look alike. Well, you know what? What about if I had another character? And you know what? What if I had another character? What if I have four characters in a Bob's Burgers I want to do and put them together? And there you go. Ta-da! Now we have it of those four characters. And interesting things, they are consistent. So I can re-render. They will be slightly changed, of course, but they will look very close. And you can put in your environment as you like it. So right here, I have it my environment that I did it with a um, cyberpunkish. So it's give it all this coloring stylizations. It's have it in Bob's Burger because I reference to my character right here, who I want to do it. And I put it four different characters. You can see right here model with kind of odd feet. I have a gentleman with a glass and shirts. I have it myself and a funny head with the goggles. There you go. And I have it another photo of me. Of course, I apply also additional some text to make them look a little bit more like with a more whiter beard or other things. Well, I know, sorry, take too long introductions what we can do. Now I want to take you to the place where you can do this for free. And that is called Whisk from the Google. Yes, it's a from Google. If you're going, and I will provide link down below to Labs Google's to the Whisk. Uh, beta kind of trial feature, but it's fully functional and it's free. You can play it. So when you click on a link, it's ask you to log in. And afterwards, by the way, this is all images you just saw. We'll go through them and I'll show you how to use it so you can use it by yourself. But there is where you can create it. Well, when you start it, you see I have it right here, characters. Let me uncheck them. You'll start just with the three options. And it will be subject, scene, and style. So you can apply as so far I used four, five, six characters. I can apply more characters. You can add stylizations, but you can use only one style and one scene at a time. Well, it kind of makes sense, yes? And right here, example, I have it myself where I was standing. You remember that photo? This one. Notice. I'm wearing my kind of fluffy, this blue jacket. Okay. And then we go here. This is my jacket. So I applied. I did delete it image and I'll show you reason. Um, 
Well, you know what? Let me upload it, actually. And this is actually a good way to show you how it's work. So, for example, if I want to add new characters, I just need to click on this plus. And right here, you can see we have a subject, scene, or style. So you can add anything. Well, I will go ahead, click subject, and we'll have this empty kind of placeholder pop up. You can notice we have it in text, so you can describe your subject if you want it. Or you can click on upload image and then you can navigate to the place where is your image click and there you go now we have it, our image which we can use it right now notice two of them selected we can actually uncheck image which we don't want to use it it's very nice way to organize your workplace there also another uh, interesting options when you upload image if you notice down on the left bottom corner you have it like three lines and pencil if you click on this, you'll open description. So this is what call image interrogation happening. It's actually tell you what AI see on this image. And it's very helpful because you can modify some of those details. You can add specific, like for example, a beard, red beard instead, black beard as on a, a image. So this is what going to use. And here you can retweak, readjust and modify or add additional details to this specific image you can still can do this in a generic but that is related to your character which is actually make it very cool because you can say um leather jacket and even your character does not have a leather jacket but every time when you put it it will have a leather jacket very clever way to do it well we have it also download we all have a delete if you want to remove this character it's like for example if i don't need this one what we just did it i'll click on delete and just remove it from our workspace and of course we have it enable disable so this is apply for characters notice on the characters we can select as many as we wanted but with stylizations then you need to select only one style at a time and you can see how it's check and check and for example right here i have it spongebob i have it burger bob's burgers you have it some sci-fi um you have it some stylizations that you can actually reuse i'll show you this in a second how we can do this to retweak them and or you can upload it to your own and down oh well, sorry it's a scene it's where we're putting in the scene yes and the stylization that's below and you notice right here i have it stylizations of the cyberpunk I have another stylization with a face, which is actually was based on a Picasso. Hmm, we'll come back to this. And this is our characters, the style Bob's Burger character and Spudge Bob. You know, I may, I told you it's a based on Picasso. So let me see what's happening. If we go and click on this edit icon right here, notice it's open with description, but down below says initial image. If we click on initial image this is the image of picasso that i uploaded but also when i upload it i can click and render and it will create for me different variations of this so in this case it's where i can readjust it tweak and see how it's used and if i like how it's come up i can actually use it that style instead original style so in this case it's help you to retweak and reuse uh, reuse or create new content that you're going to use it base it on what you uploaded and this is will apply to all of them so same if we're going right here in a style and you notice right here scene this is my original it's what i uploaded and i says okay modify a couple of things click generate and it's come up with two additional that i can use in my scenery so for example if i don't want right here young woman shoulder link so we can just take this remove it okay let's remove she wearing because we don't have it anything umbrella okay there you go we'll just leave it only scenery itself Ali will just verify graffiti okay let's go click and you notice it start generating for us so in this case we can modify our scenery we can remove characters and as a result we have it scenery without our characters and if we need it we'll click use it Okay, right here, all done. Let's close it. And you notice right here, we have it our scenery without character as before. Let's select this scenery. Let's go select uh, maybe this gentleman right here, just one by itself. 
and let's go select stylizations it's what you kind of thinking if we go with a cyberpunk stylizations and right here down below it's a prompt what we want to say in a strong bar burgers now let's go ahead and we'll say um blade runner says uh, horrible speller it's why I have it right click and ellipsis um, style. See, it's a red, it's my this, and fix it. Okay, we're done. Let's go click generate it. It will generate two images for you so you can see two variations, which one you like better. And here go. We have a back alley uh, person who does not have an idea what shoes to wear. Well, I need probably have a better description, yes, about this, but it's beautiful look and we have it our alley we have it our characters we have um theme and stylizations everything there come on well what's happening just as experiment let's go what's happening if i add three more well i have a two more one two three so we have three more characters right now we'll just ignore this one and let's go ahead add these ones and see what's happened and there you go look at this we have it our one two three characters right here this is characters and this is with a minimum text i mean of course i can go there and specify a little bit more about other stuff but pauses they try to take pause from there we remember we can go back to character if we need it like right here yes and we can modify pause we can change and recreate variations of this and reuse those variations as we're going so we can still do this but now we'll just keep it this we hold this variation we have a person with thumbs up and right here you can see is holding thumbs up okay and we have a person who's sitting right here on a white with a kind of holding shoes but i think ai thinking he um young man who does not know what to wear on his feet anyway it's kind of funny i think but there you go guys and easy you can apply stylization to this for example you can say hey do this in a like simpsons or Bob's Burgers or other things. Well, let's go look what we, what I done and I'll show you also how I did this. It's maybe helpful as well. Okay, right here at start one. And actually, if we look on this, you can see cartoon, but I don't specify too much about red Bob's Burgers, but it's creating. So next one, this is two, yes, next two. I says, use it actually stronger, right here, strong style. And of course, the AI generated, this is not my prompt. I have a very small prompt. AI generated based on all those images. And it's definitely created. And then I says, you know, it does not have my beard. So I added next when it's creating with a beard. And notice it is spelled properly. This is very interesting because grand rare rare opening, Bob's Burgers, I mean, it is put it right text. It does not have any of this awkward, you remember names and other stuff. Okay, so right here, add more. I play with, I says, okay, how about if I give camera and other things to my hands? This is playing. And you know, sometimes maybe like right here, something I did not like, I don't like beard. So if you click on this, you can regenerate in changing text. You also can click just refine, which is allowed you to uh, have additional details. Like for example, for the characters, if you want to keep it everything right there, but you want to change maybe uh, logo or remove something or add sunglasses on characters right here you can have additional details like uh, sunglasses dark sunglasses and it will create for you so it's kind of nice because it's almost like intelligent in painting things it's what it does with it just with those characters okay so let's go down and right here you can see it's creating you remember the other ones when Amy is staying up front of the Millennium Falcon. And there you go. Now we have that one, same cartoon. Of course, here is a little bit uh, with uh, different characters when I played, but a girl with umbrella. It's a similar girl. And this is actually very interesting because if we look on this image, original, and let's go down to original, you'll notice she have it almost hiding behind her. Very hard to recognize, but this is a raincoat and clear umbrella i was very surprised how well 
AI detect this and actually put clear umbrella and clear rain code on this one. This is what really, when I saw I'm like, wow, that is a extremely nice detection refinery on this one. Okay, so and right here you can see utilize that style. Again, our three characters. There's uh, me doing thumbs up as the pilot in a, uh, what is this, some abstract, I think, style I did it, okay? There's a <laughs> crusty crab, what I'm laughing about, it's on this image, it's kind of funny because it says crusty crop. <laughs> but this is stylization, again, applied in this different style, this again as Bob's Burgers, it's probably because I look on some prices here. This is when we apply different stylizations, playing with different type faces. And of course, notice on this, how the characters look similar, yes? Look on this two, one, this one, and this one. The characters look very similar. It's a consistency of the characters, which is incredible. I mean, it's beautiful. And also you have additional options. If you click on this hamburgers, it's expand. And you notice right here, you have it load templates. You have different type of templates. And also you can change aspect ratio from landscape, square, or portraits, and downloaded all images that you generated. Blabbling and showing you, you probably engines to go and do by yourself. So go ahead, try, give a try to this new experimental whisk at Google and link down below. And of course, if you like this video, thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and we'll see you next time.